Well, uh, today is going to be a homework Sunday. Good morning, shunshiners and possibly shunshaders. If I finish my homework, then I'm going to decorate for Halloween, and then I'm going to work on my Halloween costume. If I don't finish my homework, then I don't know when the other two things are going to happen. Okay, so I just finished a paper that had to be on the job of a professional singer, and because I'm almost always on YouTube, I decided to do it on Alex Day. I'm not exactly sure if I actually described uh, the job of a professional singer or just uh, detailed uh, to the chorus teacher all the amazing accomplishments that Alex Day has done. <laughs> Either way, at least I got it done and I won't get a terrible grade on it. It still might be not good, but it won't be terrible. <laughs> On to science. Well, I finally finished uh, my homework and got the vlog up, which is currently uploading. Um, not today's, yesterday's. Um, on. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going to the attic to get the Halloween decorations. Even though I only have like a half an hour until uh, the sun starts setting. Awkward cut. Okay. There's the Hanukkah decorations, but where's the Halloween decorations? It's in a blue box, so maybe there's just stuff in it that shouldn't be. Right there is a uh, blue box. But I cannot find it. Yep, somebody put Hanukkah decorations in the Halloween box. Okay. Well, our front porch has just been transported to the red light district. <laughs> because I put red lights. They don't give off very much light, even in the dark. <laughs> okay, I set up everything that can be set up now. There's a few things that can get washed away by rain, so I'm not gonna set them up now. Um, and a few things that are going to be in reach of the dog, but he's not gonna be outside during a beggar's night, which is when my town goes trick-or-treating. Um, so, like, they're not set up now because he would eat them if I set them up now. And I'm gonna set those things up after school before I go trick-or-treating. Yes, I'm a senior in high school and I'm going trick-or-treating. Because you're never too old to accept free candy from strangers on Halloween. Um, or Hallow Scream, I guess. Anyways, uh, I'm going to awkward cut now, so if I mess up, I don't have to redo this clip and uh, show you what I have so far. First, we have uh, Mr. Skellington, as I'm calling him uh, this year. He has uh, sort of bent issues with his uh, legs because of the way he was shoved into the box of Halloween decorations, but there's him. Um, then we go all the way down here because there's other stuff that I'm not setting up yet uh, down here. Then we get to the porch. Um, my jack-o'-lantern isn't here yet because I haven't uh, made it, um, but there's some pumpkin lights that have candles inside them, a uh, radioactive uh, tarantula, the gnome because he's just creepy, uh, a bat, then we have um, like I showed earlier, the red lights. And I don't know what happened to the trick or treat sign, but I have the happy Halloween sign. And uh, last but not least, <clears throat> the door is covered in a like spider web uh, piece of plastic and such. Oh yeah, there's also an electric um, jack-o'-lantern. So no, that was not a creepy ghost in the window in the last clip. And um, on Beggar's Night, I'm going to set up a crime scene with uh, the hand and the knife and maybe some fake blood. Also, we have uh, the energy-saving light bulbs that I took out of the uh, porch. And uh, there's all the unused um, Halloween decorations. Like, there's a fog machine and a strobe light, but I'm not using those things. Actually, I might use the strobe light. I don't know. It's somewhere in there. So we're right outside Trader Joe's. My mom is holding on to the pumpkin we just bought. 
um, which is most likely organic because we got it at Trader Joe's, but there's no way to prove that. We're not really gonna eat it. Well, yeah, we're gonna have the seeds. All right, we're gonna have the seeds. Awkward cut. Okay, so I'm trying to find uh, some construction paper as a possible backup idea for um, my costume because, by the way, I decided to at least make a giant block head for my costume. Um, I'm gonna skip doing um, arms and legs out of cardboard, but I'll do the uh, head. And why is there Christmas stuff? It's not even Halloween. Awkward cut. So while searching online uh, for pictures of Minecraft Steve, I basically found a like PDF thing you can download and then print out and glue onto a box. Um, the only problem is my mom won't let me print it from her printer because uh, ink is expensive <laughs> and it requires a lot of ink. So I'm going to see if we can get it printed out at like FedEx or Kinko's or whatever place does printing like that. Um, as well as get a 11 by 11 by 11 box. Um, but if that doesn't work, I might use the PDF file uh, to make a painted version or a um, construction paper glued on version of uh, Minecraft Steve because uh, that was my original plans. Uh, um, so hopefully I have this project uh, done by Friday where I have a Halloween party I'm going to. But if it's not done, um, I do have like two weeks until um, Hallow Scream. Uh, which is, um, Beggar's Night, technically. So, hopefully I finish it by Hello Scream, or I'm gonna have to find another costume. <laughs> Good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. Awkward cut to outro. There's a bug on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Chain. Sunshine Chain. Sunshine Chain. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Chain.